Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Action Sharks video. Today we're going to be focusing on how to encrypt messages in Python using ASCII values. So what are ASCII values, right? So how do, can we access them? So basically what ASCII values are, are these like little, little values. So this is a conversion chart. So if we look right here, uh, the decimal number 65 represents the ASCII value A, right? And it's, for example, if you want to go to the lowercase a, so the decimal number 97 represents the ASCII value A. Now, how is this useful to us and how can we use it in Python to de encrypt and maybe even decrypt? So the way we can use this is by actually, first of all, accessing them in Python, right? So how can we access these ASCII values? Well, if we want to see the order of a value of a like a character or whatever you want to see, so what we can do is we can find it in our terminal, our shell actually. So we can do order or ORD of whatever we want. So if I was going to do A and I was going to check the ASCII value of what this was, it would be 65, right? And so if I wanted to do the same thing for like uh, lowercase h, it would be 104. And so these are really cool things of how I can find out what these ASCII values are. And even if I wanted to do, if I wanted to find what 105 was, right? So say if I wanted to see uh, what's the decimal number 105 and which ASCII value is that. So I would, what I would do is I would do CHR and I would put the number that I want. So I would do 105 and it would give me uh, lowercase i. Right, so we can actually use this in a way to encrypt messages. And I know this is not totally like fully cybersecurity and encrypting messages to like you know send to the president or whatever, but this is kind of a cool concept and project that you can uh, work on for beginners. So first things first, I'm actually just gonna send a message. So if I was gonna uh, send a message called, uh, if I set a variable called secret message, and our secret message could be, uh, hey, how are you doing? I can't type today. How are you doing? All right, so this could be our secret message. And say we wanted to you know, encrypt this in a way. So the way to do this is we could find the character, like the decimal number of what this H would be and so on of every single character in this string. And we could find that, that decimal number and we could increase it by three causing the, and, and print that plus three causing the you know the character to shift up or shift down a little bit and essentially encrypt the message right just make it into like gibberish basically i know that sounds a little bit complicated right now but as we go into the code it'll seem a little bit easier all right so what i'm going to do first of all is i'm going to put this variable in a for loop and what this is going to allow me to do is it's going to allow me to go through every single character in the message itself right so for I in secret message, and what this is going to do once again is go through every single character in this string. And so what I'm going to do with this I is I'm going to actually append it or not append it, but add it to another string. So it's going to be something called, I'm just going to create a variable called encrypted message. And this is just going to be a empty string. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through every single character, find the a, a, a ASCII value for that character and, you know, increase it by three or decrease it by 30 and see what that leads us to, right? So what I'm going to do really quickly is I'm going to add the so encrypted message, encrypted message, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to be adding on to that right. So I'm going to do encrypted message plus equals to or basically what that means is encrypted message is equal to encrypted message plus. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the the order or the character of the order of I. All right, so the character of the order of i, and I'm going to subtract that by 30. And what this will do is it will actually find the order of i. So say, for example, it's h. It would find the order of h. So we'll say, it's for example, like it's 55. And what I'll do is I'll take that 55 and minus it by 3 to 52. It'll find that character of 52 and essentially add it to this, causing the message to be encrypted, you know, it's like encrypted, like not totally once again, cybersecurity related, but you know, someone encrypted and it will allow it to be like, you know, gibberish basically. And at the end of this for loop, what I can do is I can just quickly print that encrypted message, encrypted message, and let's see what this does. All right, so if I went to run the file, 
as you can see, it's just totally converted to like another like language, right? Another like a uh, totally different language. So as you can see, this is our little encrypted message right here. So this clearly doesn't uh, look like, hey, how are you doing, right? It's just EBV, open bracket, ELT. So this is pretty hard for someone to understand and how we can, you know, use these ASCII values to you know, do a little fun project like encrypting these things. But say, for example, we wanted to, you know, decrypt this message, right? It's actually really easy. I was about to create a new variable called decrypted message. I'm just also going to send this to an empty string. And all it takes is for me to go through every single character in the encrypted message this time. Encrypted message. And what I can do is I can actually take this exact thing right here. I can, oops, I can go right here. I can just paste this right here. And now I'm since I'm adding to the decrypted message, I would just change this variable back to decrypted. And instead of subtracting three, oh, just forgot a little organization there. Instead of subtracting three, I would add three essentially this time. What this will do, we will shift that character back to the original value that it was and it will print accordingly, right? So if I were to print this decrypted message now, decrypted message, as you can see, it changes our, you know, our totally different weird string into back to, hey, how are you doing, right? So this is like just a cool way of how you can use ASCII values to, you know, play around with it, see how they work, uh, do a little bit of encrypting and decrypting, you know, a cool beginner project to work on, and just overall have a good time coding with Python, right? So that's it for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, drop another suggestion in the comments for whatever you want to see, and I will uh, make a video for that. All right, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.